Hello, my name is Carl. My call sign is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango, and I'm a new, newly licensed, full licensed uh, radio operator in the UK. So, in this video, I'm just going to reflect on my learning, my journey through the different licensing and different exams over the past three years. For those of you who are not quite sure about what's happening in the UK, we have three license conditions. We have uh, the beginners, which is the foundation license. So typically that's M6, M7. Then we have the intermediate level and you may hear two echo zero. And my previous call sign was two echo zero. And then we have the full license holder at uh, the advanced stage of the licensing. And typically you would hear M0. So as of last week, I now hold a full license in the UK. It doesn't mean that I know everything. And uh, that is really my first point I want to, to raise, is one of, the, one of the attractions of the amateur radio hobby is there's so much to learn. There's so many different uh, um, angles and facets of the hobby that if you're interested in the science bit, you can really get stuck in with the science. If you're interested in the equipment, you can learn about um, the you know, the equipment side of it. If you're interested in software, uh, you know, and and all of that kind of stuff. There's so many different facets that you want to learn about. So my first advice really is is to be okay in the hobby with areas that you don't know about. Being an amateur radio operator is a continuous journey of learning. So it's okay not to know some things. However, it's really important as an individual when you go on this learning journey and you want to work your way through the different levels is you have to have a curiosity with the things that you don't know rather than avoiding them, if it makes sense. So if you came into the hobby because you just wanted to pick up a mic and press the PTT and talk to people, but you want to work your way through the licensing structure, you're going to find that quite difficult. You will have to have an understanding of a wide range of topics in the hobby. So my advice is to, to try and get curious about the things that you don't know about and be okay about the fact that you don't know everything yet. And you may you may go through all your life and you may not know everything about propagation. You may not know everything about how an SDR um, radio works, but that journey, that continuous learning is actually part of, the, part of the enjoyment. So my first, I won't say advice, but my first um, <clears throat> point is, you have to look inwards to and find the energy to be curious about parts of the hobby that you don't know about. And what you may find is actually you may not have known that you were interested in propagation, but once you get into it, then you start to actually really get into it. And that brings more enjoyment to the hobby. So that's point one. And my second point, it, it sort of relates to the first point, in that what I discovered when I when I went for the foundation, this is my this is my story really. When I went for the foundation, I wanted just to be able to operate ham radio. I tried CB many years ago, enjoyed it in the eighties, came back to it four years ago or three and a half years ago, and didn't enjoy the experience. So I wanted to get a ham license to just get on the radio. So when I went through the foundation course and did all the practicals and went through the book. It was mainly just to be able to get the initial license and get on the radio. 10 watts, great, let's get on there, Let, let's, let's play radio. However, when you then step up from the foundation to the intermediate, things start to change. Not only, with, with the foundation, you can more or less learn the book word for word and just answer the questions as they're written in the book. You pretty much the answers are in the book for each question. When you move to the intermediate level, you it stretches you a bit more. You're expected to solve um, solve a few more problems as well as un understand the different licensing conditions for the for the intermediate. So there's a little bit of learning by memory, but there's also this 
added extra okay how do I solve this problem how how do I use my theory and a little, little bit of calculation to solve some some problems presented in front of me so the reason that you go for the for the intermediate is much more about wanting to improve your station improve your experience to you know to to build up your knowledge of, of the hobby and then when you move to the advanced stage the full license things really start to change then you the the the, the found the the full license gets you to look at the extra licensing conditions you know working on 60 meters and and working really sort of low frequencies and beacons and and those extra elements of your licensing conditions they're contained in the book and you you, you have a reference for them but what the full license expects is a much deeper knowledge of aspects of the hobby and the the exam is much more around solving problems or identifying identifying either problems or or pieces of technology so it you to to actually so to actually progress from intermediate into the full and you it will draw on your need for being really curious how do SDR uh, radios work how does uh, a, dig a digital analog conversion work what's propagation the different forms of propagation antenna design calculating gain and loss and all of these aspects so you you can't have the same attitude that you go into your foundation that you go into your full but the foundation is more or less getting onto the radio whereas with the full it's much more diving into the science and the maths and the engineering side of it so you really need to dig down into that wanting to be curious you've got to be okay about not knowing everything and have a desire to to really sort of go into those aspects much more because you can't you can't pass the full license by skipping sections you have to have some knowledge of each section and that's really important so the the third point and this this is just advice based on my experience and it doesn't fit everybody because we all learn differently and we have different drivers different motivations but i found that with the full license and some aspects of the intermediate <clears throat> when you read the theory and you look at diagrams and you you, know, you look at words on on the, in a in a book a book it's so difficult to actually envisage how that works and if you're the kind of brain that that needs to have a a physical representation of what's happening or you want to be able to replicate what's in the book in a physical sense so it's really important when you're stuck on certain aspects of the theory is to try and relate that to the real world as best you can so an example of that would be um chokes and balloons and um the antenna uh, designs and feeder loss and all those aspects you can relate a lot of that to your experience as a foundation as an intermediate holder that you've probably experienced a lot of this in, in the real world you've probably made the ballon or bought a ballon or you bought you know you you bought equipment well actually you can get curious and start taking that apart a little bit um obviously if you can take radios apart then the, you know mind your warranties but but mostly, mostly basic stuff like you buy a ballon in a box. So I'll take the, take the lid off, have a look at it, look in the book, see what it says in the book about it. And you've got this re real world understanding then of, of what things look like and how they act. So for me, that was really important, being able to relate the two together. And that, and that, that helped me on certain sections that I didn't know so much about. Okay, so that's it really. That, that was just an initial... Um, just some thoughts to camera really about the exam that I took last week so I will be revisiting some of the topics uh, that are covered in the full manual because I found them really interesting so uh, yeah I look forward to a few more videos from inside the radio room and then when we get uh, the go ahead we can get outdoors a bit more and have a bit more fun so uh, stay safe and I look forward to the next video so bye bye for now